This is a 70 millimeter Astro Master uh, recycling telescope by Celestron. The Astro Master series has 70, 90, and 90 millimeter refractories as well as 114 millimeter uh, and a 130 millimeter reflector. The, uh, this particular scope comes with either a handlebar mount, you turn the knob and twist it, uh, I'll show one in the B-roll, or the EQ3 equatorial mount. The handlebar mount is designed primarily for uh, terrestrial use. It is significantly better than this mount in that regard. The German equatorial mount was designed for astronomical purposes and is significantly better than the handlebar mount. With the handlebar mount, you can expect to pay about $150 for one of these. With the equatorial mount, about $250. So there is a difference there. This has 70 millimeter aperture and a 900 millimeter focal length, which gives it a focal ratio of 12.85, or about 13. And uh, f13 gives you a very, a very, very little chromatic aberration. At f15, there would be none at all. So this gives a very clear view, more uh, clearer than most 70 millimeter uh, achromatic doublets. It comes with uh, uh, an erector lens, so when you look at look at things through this, they're right side up instead of upside down. As a dub bar, it's uh, got a red dot finder. The uh, the focuser, the simple rack and pinion one and a quarter inch focuser, but it, it works pretty well. It comes with two eyepieces, a 10 and a 25 millimeter. Uh, this is an extra camera weight in case we're using a bigger, uh, a bigger zoo. I like this. I, I like this particular version with the equatorial mount more than I do the uh, version with the handlebar now. That's because I look at the sky and I don't watch ducks down on the pond or robins four blocks away feeding their babies. And this is upgradable. Celestron makes a motor, a motorized right ascension now. It replaces this slow motion control and that automatically tracks the sky. Uh, and it's not a very good now. It's not a very good motor. It's only $56. Uh, OnStep makes a go-to conversion kit for this EQ3 now for about $160. <coughs> and that, uh, that would make this a complete go-to telescope. Uh, star align it, tell it to go somewhere, it automatically go there and track it. And that upgradableness is significant. Also, you can uh, loosen this up. I'll do it. You can loosen this up and take out the tube and put another uh, optical tube in there. This is a light mount, so it'll handle anything up to maybe 11 pounds, 13, I guess, if it's a short squat little thing. And, uh, When you, when you put it back in, you want to make sure that you're doing it right. I did it wrong, just to show you how not to do it. Uh, there we go. I have a 114-millimeter Astro Master. I'll do a review on it. Uh, it's a lot higher maintenance. The good thing about refractors is virtually no maintenance. They don't gather as much light. 
but they're a lot lower than that. And this particular tube, I took it out last night, got a pretty good view of Saturn. Couldn't see the Cassini division, but then the way Saturn was situated, it, the rings are kind of flat, even though it's uh, getting close to opposition. I couldn't see a lot of the details of the rings. I do mainly astrophotography or PAA, and when I'm viewing, I usually view from a sitting position like I am right now. These are steel legs, and they do extend. So you can make it a lot taller than it is right now, in case you like to stand up when you do your viewing. Uh, got slow motion controls for uh, declination as well as right ascension. And that's about all there is to say about it. If you're a beginner with 150, actually it was $139 on Amazon when I checked this morning uh, for the handlebar. And 247 for the one with the equatorial mount. This is a good uh, beginning telescope. Uh, due to the small aperture, it's not especially good for deep space viewing. I could see, uh, let's see a third time, it's like a little fuzzy, blurry blob, but then most deep space things are going to look like a little fuzzy, blurry blob in Bortal 6 sky with a, a small refractor, which is the advantage of photography. You're going to go to get at least a, a motor drive and it'll keep taking pictures of the little blurry blob and over time, 10, 15 minutes, it doesn't look like a blurry blob anymore. It looks like it does in the photograph when you go online and look it up. This is a, a good refractor and I like this mount. It's a good mount. So if you're a beginner and just starting off and want something that you can upgrade later on, I can recommend that. Uh, that's about all i got to say on this. So, shall I see you again? Happy trails.